Currently, we're working on African swine fever. I'm Douglas Gladue. I'm a senior scientist at Plum Island Animal Disease Center. African swine fever has been causing outbreaks in Asia and Europe. As a result of these outbreaks, there's been a shortage of worldwide available protein. In the last year, we have done what I believe is significant progress in our project. I'm Manuel Borca. I'm a lead scientist of the African Swine Fever Program at Plum Island. Importantly, we have developed a new vaccine candidate. This is the fourth one developed in our laboratory. This new vaccine called I77L. It's important to have a vaccine to be able to try to prevent the spread of the disease from spreading from country to country or from farm to farm. So recently we received select agent exclusion for three of our vaccine candidates. And what that means is that the vaccines can be worked on in BSL-2 rather than BSL-3. This helps for commercialization of vaccines because it's a lot cheaper to produce a vaccine in lower biosafety level labs. Recently, we also identified a cell line, MA-104 cells, that are capable of detecting African swine fever for diagnostics. This is also important because before this discovery, the only way to grow the vaccine was to use primary swine macrophages. So you'd have to isolate swine macrophages from many different pigs in order to produce and commercialize a vaccine. With a cell line, now you can produce large quantities of the vaccine without the need of using donor swine. So it's very rewarding for us to see that what we are doing in the lab has the possibility to be used as a, as a tool to control this disease.